The state of students' mental health across Bay District schools has been a concern for officials since Hurricane Michael. is taking its toll on many, but its effects on some of our youngest and most vulnerable population could outlast the pandemic. In March 2020, our local schools had to shut down again, this time due to the pandemic. And for some of our rural communities that were still recovering from the hurricane, learning virtually was virtually impossible. With so much of an emphasis about COVID-19 being on the actual physical illness, we were alarmed to start seeing just how much it was impacting our local children. They were under extreme mental stress. Pretty much everything that they knew in their lives, their routines, their school, their sports, were turned upside down. And we just felt like we had to do something with our power to reach an audience to make a difference. Thursday afternoon, we at News Channel 7 held a special live town hall addressing mental health among our youngest population during these unprecedented times. It's so important um, to have this discussion because we've experienced a lot in this Bay County uh, community in the last 18 months. The issue is personal for many on our staff who are mothers, fathers, and grandparents themselves. My little girl is only seven years old, and the last two school years have been interrupted for her, first with Hurricane Michael and now with this pandemic. And so explaining those things, that's it's difficult. We remember when the, the storm came through here, I remember touring some of the, the schools that had been damaged, uh, dislocated families, it caused kids uh, to, be, to be out of school. That's a really traumatic thing. Um, in the pandemic, you've had different issues, uh, but you, know, you do have some of the same mental health challenges. Some of these other challenges uh, that now we're seeing throughout the state that really we've been having to deal with here in Bay County and the surrounding areas uh, for a couple years now. Mental health can be scary. Any condition, any health issue can be scary for parents and for them to be able to hear a candid discussion that is involving mental health as well as WJHG, I think is putting it in a conversation that can happen at dinner tables that can bring awareness to parents and families um, to help them look for warning signs and be able to get their children into services sooner. Our mental health forum was more than a one and done event. We knew that we couldn't bring people together in a traditional sense because we were in a pandemic. So instead we brought in a panel of experts, spaced them out in our studio and still managed to pull off a virtual town hall using Facebook to reach our audience. Those of you watching at home, we want you to take part in this discussion. You can ask your questions. All you have to do is go to our Facebook live stream, put your questions there, and we'll ask our panel of experts. Viewers asked questions and got answers in real time. We also loaded up our website with resources, everything from links to suicide prevention to signs of depression. One of the resources we shared after the forum was a number that was provided from our agency for families to reach out if they needed help. And we did see an increase of families reaching out as well as some of the organizations that participated also received an increase in volumes of calls with parents reaching out asking questions. I think it was a very special project that we did. Uh, I was very fortunate to be a part of that. It got information out to people. It brought community members together. And I think that it went a long way to encouraging people to seek services. Many are going through tough times during the coronavirus outbreak. There's a bunch of added stress in there. The children are home more. You may have lost your job. You may have lost, you know, a job if you're working multiple jobs. Before the pandemic, we were already doing dozens of heartbreaking stories about children being taken to mental health facilities after Hurricane Michael. As of Friday, January 10th, 161 Bay District School students have been Baker Acted this school year. Put a pandemic on top of that and it was just disastrous. We knew that we had to do more than just report the news. We had to be part of the solution. Not only have we gone through the whole coronavirus, but before that we were in Hurricane Michael. So for the past two years, these children have gone under extreme circumstances that most, most would never go through in their lifetime. WJHG is dedicated to making information accessible to our local families. And whether it's a pandemic or a hurricane or whatever life throws at us, we know that we can make a difference in the lives of our local children by arming parents with information and awareness.